IPI's uh, mission to Slovakia was the first in a series of uh, fact-finding missions or, or press freedom audits, if you like, that IPI will be conducting to countries in the region with the aim of meeting local media uh, professionals in order to discuss with them, to learn first-hand from them what kind of obstacles to press freedom they encounter in their day-to-day in their -day work. While we were in Slovakia, we met with a very wide range of people working in the media. We met with representatives from the uh, public broadcasters, from TV and radio, with lawyers specialising in media issues, for example. We also met with uh, representatives from the so it's a syndicate of journalists and with a, a wide range of journalists from the, from the private media too. Generally speaking, the press freedom climate in Slovakia is, is relatively good. However, there were some issues that we encountered during our visit which raised concern at IPI. Uh, perhaps the most prominent is the, the use of disproportionate civil defamation lawsuits against the media. Uh, to name an example, there's a particular Slovak judge who's currently suing around about 10 different uh, Slovak media organisations. Um, for essentially just reporting the content of an official government press conference a couple of years ago. Um, the judge is suing for a combined total of around about 4 uh, million euros. He's currently uh, won two of these cases already, and like I said, um, these media organisations purely conveyed information which was given to them during an official press conference. So this, this uh, kind of procedure is out of step with uh, modern interpretations of, of freedom of speech and of free media. Um, another concern is the independence of the public broadcasters. This concern stems principally from the way that the councils governing the broadcasters are, are composed. Each council consists of 15 members who are elected directly by parliament. So the potential there for political influence is, uh, is self-evident. Another concern is the controversial Press Act, which was passed by parliament uh, in April last year and came into force in June last year which contains a worrying uh, right of reply provision which basically enables the reader of a newspaper article to force that newspaper to publish their reply to that article if they felt that the article in any way touched their reputation. Um, this right exists regardless of whether or not the information in the article was factual. IPI feels that a step should be taken to ensure that the public broadcasters are kept at arm's length from the government and from political influence. In addition to this, it's also necessary to strengthen the media self-regulatory bodies in Slovakia in order to provide a viable alternative to recourse such as the right of reply or civil defamation. And in addition to this, it's also necessary to scrutinise how the judiciary deals with matters of civil defamation to ensure that uh, these provisions aren't being abused or used to hassle journalists.